Test and activation is a great role because you get to see the product come to life. We take a system that's been built and we put the energy sources into it and then the next phase is we get to take it to sea and put it through its paces and making sure that the outcome is the best possible for the Navy. The guys that work with me and for me are a great bunch of people. They all share the same passion. From my early days when I was a technician, I've moved up into other positions and also having the opportunity to go to university and do a master's in system support engineering. We're building the foundation for shipbuilding in Australia. We've created the foundation and enables us to move forward and train new people as they come on board because we have the subject matter experts. What you get to do every day, especially in the test and activation roles, where you can turn equipment on and you can see it do stuff. Being able to do that from the very beginning, seeing it being built from sheet steel and bits of pipe, right through to the electrical power coming on for the first time, fluids going in the system, and then actually seeing it operate, turning motors, steering, propulsion, all those sorts of things. It's what it's all about. And, uh, the ship's not a ship if it's not operating, so making it do that is the real thing. My name's Bruce McEntee, and I'm the Test and Activation Auxiliary Systems Manager for the Air Warfare Destroyer Program at Osborne, South Australia.